What's going on guys, it's your average consumer, and today we're going to be spending a real day in the life with the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And for those of you who have never seen one of my real day in the life videos, you're pretty much going to be spending the day with me and the Note 9, and we're going to test out a bunch of stuff like the performance, battery life, the camera, that new S Pen, and we're gonna see how it handles a day in the real world. Now, before we jump into the real day in the life, you guys must know, I'm giving one of these away. Uh, in my last video of the Galaxy Note 9, I teamed up with my buddy John from TLD Today, and we're giving one away. I'll include the same link that we used for the giveaway in that video down below in the description so you guys could go ahead and enter. But let's see how the Note 9 did in a real day in the life. All right guys, now we're gonna spend some time talking about the design, what this phone looks like, kind of specs and all that good stuff. But I actually have to head out to New York for a bit to actually take this guy in. Uh, my red camera, uh, one of the accessories or the attachments on it is giving me a little bit of an issue. So we have to take it into the store and see what they say. But before I go in and do anything like that, I gotta take pictures of this guy. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I send in any piece of tech to a company to get repaired or something, I take pictures of it so I know exactly the condition it was in before I sent it. That way when they send it back, they can't say, oh, that scratch was already there, all that stuff. So perfect time to try out the Note 9's camera. And I'm pretty familiar with this camera since it's pretty much what was on the Galaxy S9 Plus. And oh, this is such a good camera. Check this out, guys. This camera is uh, just, so, so good. And this guy right here, this is the issue. So I'm gonna take a picture of that. Now let's take a look at some of these shots. And man, this, this camera's insane. It is so sharp. Like look how much I'm zooming in before I see it get blurry. Like, look guys, that's insane. This is such a good camera. I just love it. Ugh, listen, honestly guys, this Bixby button, I hate it. I hate it so much. I press it by accident so many times. I just wish they'd let us remap it, but that's another conversation. Now, before we fly over to the Red Store, I've got to get this video up. This is a back to school video, the baller edition. So if you didn't see it, you got to hit the links down below in the description. But real quick, I had to take a minute. Over here, I've got some giveaway prizes from Colorware. These were the 16-bit uh, retro edition Joy-Cons and Pro Controller for the Nintendo Switch. And I've been talking to the winner over here on Instagram. And just so you guys have an idea of what the typing experience is like, it's a big phone, uh, so it feels like you're typing on half of the screen. And usually keyboards take up a big portion of the screen, but this one, it literally feels like the same way I would hold a normal phone, I'm only holding half of the phone and I'm just typing down here and I've got like, a bunch of real estate up here. It's kind of crazy, uh, but this is a really big phone, but come typing on it nonetheless, not so bad. So we're in an Uber now and it's about 4.32 p.m. A little too late to head over to New York, so we're scrapping the whole Red Store idea. Um, we'll probably just do that later on this week. Uh, but we do have the giveaway in hand, uh, the giveaway prize, and we're gonna be sending this thing out. So while we're in this Uber, I figured we'd play this some Fortnite, but unfortunately it's downloading an update but let me update you guys on the battery life. Right now, we've got 72% left. And let's see the screen on time. Oh, wow. So we got two hours and 24 minutes of screen on time with 72%. That's, that's what I expect to see from a Note device. 4,000 milliamp hours. I expect to see good battery life in two hours and 24 minutes so far and still having 72% left. This is really good. So while I try to figure out this whole update thing with Fortnite, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, I had to bring out the Gear S3. I love this watch. Uh, the Gear watch looks pretty interesting, but the Gear S3, I, I'm a huge fan. I even use this thing with my iPhone for a long period of time, but the Find My Phone feature is so critical for me that I needed to switch back to the Apple Watch, but it feels good to have this thing back. Uh, this is such a good device to have if you own a Galaxy phone. All right, so I never did get Fortnite up and running, but funny enough, the winner of this giveaway prize, and guys, I have no connection to him, actually lived a block away from my old apartment, which is just insane. So I felt like I had to do something special, and so I'm gonna be the delivery guy who uh, gives him his prizes. Let's ring the bell. Yay, what's going oh, man. on, man? Girl, really, hold on, let me just start. 
<laughs> here you go, man. This is uh, all thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, all right. Hold on, let me get my girl here. She yeah, wants yeah. to meet you too. Uh, ah, no problem. Like, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, no, no problem, man. <laughs> thank you again once again. <laughs> no problem. Hey, yeah. nice to meet you. Oh, by the way, I'm doing a real day in the life so, with the <laughs> Galaxy Note 9. Mind, oh, nice. Mind if I take a selfie with you guys? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> You're the right. reason why I got a one plus. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Awesome. That's dope. So let's see if I can. Uh... Oh, Bixby. <laughs> <sighs> I told you guys. It happens so often. See, now we got the focus rings. The last shot may be blurry. Interesting. So that's one of the new features. Sorry, I'm like going into <laughs> explaining mode here. But one of the new features with the Note 9 is that it can detect whether or not there's an issue with the picture you just took. So we just took a picture, it came out blurry, and it gave me a little notification right at the bottom, said this picture may be blurry, so I know I have to take another one. So, and it is blurry. <laughs> it's pretty blurry. Now, I don't know if there's a smudge on the front-facing camera, but we are going to try that one last time before I eat up too much of your time. No, oh, that's cool, we have all the free time. <laughs> There we go. Nice. Sol a solid <laughs> selfie. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Thank you Good. Once again. Good meeting you guys. We're going to do like 14 handshakes by the end of the day. All Take right. care, guys. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you do a giveaway. So, guys, check this out. Look at these cool little uh, lamp. I, I don't even know what to call these, but they're spinning. Uh, these are juice cartons. But I figured this could be a pretty cool time to check out the super slow-mo. Uh, they're spinning pretty quickly, but let's see how it is super slow-mo style. So we'll go with this guy right here. And... Hey... So this is actually pretty cool. You'll see it spin normally at first, and it slows all the way down. That's pretty sick, and it's got the little music playing in the back. You can chop it up the way you want to. Uh, but this is actually cool. I love super slow-mo. We captured some really cool stuff in the uh, S9 Plus video. That was fun. Now, the Galaxy Note 9 does have face unlock. But it's like, it's okay. It's not the fastest. Kind of reminds me of Face ID, where it takes a little bit to scan your face. Eh, I'm honestly just a little bit spoiled by the OnePlus 6. That has like that instant unlock where this one honestly it's just faster to use your fingerprint so face unlock for me on the note 9 it's okay so we're actually close to a supermarket right now so i figured i'd hit up ari and just ask her if she needed anything from there hello hey hey oh there's an extra volume feature hey Oh, nice. Okay, so I'm actually close to the supermarket right now. Uh, what what kind of stuff do you need me to pick up? Uh, oh, we need more milk. Yes. Uh, oh, the obvious answer, milk. <laughs> the turkey, uh, we can slice turkey. Turkey slices, okay. I'm taking, I'm using, I'm writing all of this down with the S Pen because I'm fancy like that. Oh, ooh, nice. We know you can't text fast, so that, that makes sense. Hey, hey, <laughs> we don't need you taking shots, Ari. Long story short, I'm a slow texter. You guys want to see my lovely handwriting? I'm going to take a screenshot right now so you guys can see it. All right, guys, got what we needed. Low key, this is the most important part of any shopping trip. The cereal, baby. All right, guys, so now we are back at the studio. It is 6.15 p.m. So we are sitting at three hours and 29 minutes of screen on time, which is just bananas, because uh, we still have 55% left. So if we get double this, that's like six hours, maybe more, because we have 5% more. Uh, we have at least six hours right out of the box. That's pretty nice. You can't complain. 4,000 milliamp hours, man. That should be the standard in 2018, or at least 2019. 4,000 milliamp hours, the lowest. I wanna see if I can get some Fortnite going. That's like, that's like the thing. So I finally got it updated. 
and I'm going to try and play a few rounds. I have like this much Fortnite experience, so don't laugh. But one thing I will say though, guys, this screen and Fortnite, it's a nice combo, man. It's a nice combo. Look at that, Hey. Like Fortnite is so colorful and the uh, Note 9 has such a nice saturated display. Content just looks so good. Yo, stop shooting at me, man. And I gotta say, performance wise, this is pretty solid. I'm not seeing a ton of dropped frames. I'm not seeing any dropped frames right now, really. It seems very smooth. Controls are okay, uh, but for the most part, this looks pretty good. I just saw one drop frame right there. Let me see if I can run up on him. Wait, is he lagging? Yeah. One noob versus another. I got him though. <laughs> I'm probably gonna turn on some anime, get some food, watch some anime while I eat. That sounds like a plan. So guys, check this out. So I'm eating some lunch, a really, really late lunch, but I'm eating some lunch, lunch nonetheless. And one thing I find that's pretty cool, I can be eating like a savage here and not worry about my hands getting all messy and touching my screen to play and pause a video. With the S Pen having the new Bluetooth features, I can kind of just press a little button that's on it and continue watching whatever I'm watching without worrying about getting my screen messy. And you guys know me. I'm crazy about keeping my screens clean. That's why I walk around with a microfiber cloth all the time. So it's kind of cool to have some of these features built right into it and do it. I don't know if it's really gonna catch on, but it's cool that it's possible nonetheless. Uh, I'm a fan of having options and this one's not so bad. And um, as for this uh, case that you might've seen here, guys, look at JD over here about to kill John. Oh boy. Anyway, if you've seen this case, guys, I am not a fan of it, but it is pretty convenient in that it turns into a kickstand. So you can kind of plop your phone up like this. That's nice, but I am really not crazy about this case. It's not my style. And that was kind of our day. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'll be completely honest. That oxtail you saw me eating, that thing put me out. So I ended up missing the very, very last shot I needed to update you guys in terms of the battery life. But just to let you guys know, I ended off with about six hours of battery life. I think when I last checked it, I had about 10 to 15%. So with that and six hours of screen on time, that is great battery life on the Note 9. And honestly, I feel like that is a win for the Note series. Battery life was starting to get a little bit weak on it in comparison to other phones that are out right now. So for it to finally be able to hold its ground like it used to, is a really good thing. But let's talk about the overall phone. So the design, very similar to the last iteration of it, but now it does have a slightly larger screen. Honestly, you can't really tell the difference. It's a nice big display, which is also one of the issues with the Note 9. It's one of the very few issues with the Note 9. It's really a big phone. Not everyone's gonna be crazy about having a phone that long. Some people might think it's a bit ridiculous. And I do agree, it does teeter on the edge of being too large. But if you do like a bigger display, this one is beautiful. Uh, it works well. Honestly, Samsung's one of the best when it comes to screen displays. So it's all gonna come down to personal preference. And like I said, this is very similar to the last iteration of the Note and even the S9 Plus. So let's talk about what kind of separates this from the rest uh, besides that bigger battery. Of course, the biggest thing is that S Pen. Now, the S Pen is probably a gimmick to some people. Me personally, I like having the option. I'm an options guy. I like being able to pull it out whenever I need it or even use it to do special things like take selfies or take pictures without actually having to touch the camera. So there are some cool things that have been added to the Note 9. Is it a selling feature? Samsung obviously thinks so, uh, but I'm curious what you guys think. Is it something that you'd use or even other hardcore note users? How often do you use the S Pen? I don't know how much it'll influence my purchasing decision, but when you think of it as a package and everything else that it can do, it definitely doesn't hurt. And that's kind of the story of the Note 9. Samsung pretty much gives you everything you could possibly want and you can pick and choose how you actually use the device. And trust me, the Note 9 is packing everything but the kitchen sink. I'm talking wireless charging, water resistance, stereo speakers, a headphone jack. Samsung, please never get rid of the headphone jack. You're doing it right. Face unlock, 
fingerprint scanner, although I will say I find the fingerprint scanner a bit more reliable than face unlock. It's just so much faster. So face unlock is there, but meh. Also, you can get expandable storage, so you can get a micro SD card and add up to 512 gigabytes. And if you get the 512 gigabyte model, you're looking at about a terabyte on your phone. Not to mention you do get that S Pen as well as Samsung DeX built into it. So if you have a monitor that uses USB type C, you can plug it right into the phone and start taking advantage of a full desktop version of the Note 9, which I think is just awesome to have as an option. I didn't spend any time on that during the real day in the life, but if you've got a monitor that supports USB type C or you've got the Samsung DeX adapter, this is a really nice feature to have, especially if you depend on your phone, which Note 9 users tend to do since they're typically power users. They try to keep everything on there. I think it's awesome to have the decks available to you whenever you want. Now we've got to talk about camera performance. It's pretty much the same camera as the Galaxy S9 Plus. All the photos that I've taken have been pretty sharp, have great dynamic range, very vivid, lots of detail. So no complaints when it comes to the camera department. Definitely good stuff. It also has a dual camera lens so that you can have portrait mode effects or live focus effects, which also looks very nice. And the Note 9 seems to handle it pretty well. It also handles video like a champ. I actually shot a video with my boy John unboxing the Note 9 with a Note 9. And that video came out surprisingly well. The stabilization is really nice. Now, when it comes to the AI camera, it's cool that it's available. I honestly had a very hard time finding the difference between a regular shot and a shot that was detected through AI. So it's there. I'm not really sure how much it impacts the actual end result, but it at least identifies it. Now this thing is running a Snapdragon 845 processor. So honestly guys, you'll be able to throw whatever you want at this and have it perform well. The biggest test will of course be through gaming and with the Note 9 of course comes that Fortnite. And Fortnite actually ran pretty well. A couple of drop frames here and there. Basically what that means is the game would skip just a tiny bit, uh, but definitely not enough to impact the game whatsoever. Uh, ran pretty well and on that screen it just looks really really good. Uh, me playing the Sonic game that I love to play was just fine. So performance, this is right up there with all of the other flagships. This is an awesome phone in terms of performance. But at the end of the day, we gotta talk about whether or not this is a good phone to buy. And I will go on record and say this, the Note 9 is the best no compromise phone out there right now. Now there are three things worth considering that cause this to not be an instant buy. First one being, of course, that price. This thing's over $1,000. It's a very, very expensive phone but I honestly do feel like you get your money's worth. If you're looking for a phone with no compromises that has all of the features you're looking for and performs well, this is that phone. But a thousand dollars, it's a lot of money for a phone too. The other thing being the straight up size, this thing is a larger device, not everyone's going to be comfortable with that. And the last thing worth considering is how good is the phone that you currently have? If you have a phone that came out of 2017, there's chances are you probably won't need to upgrade it if it's a flagship device. Uh, but if you're rocking something older where this was gonna be a significant upgrade, come on, there's, it's a no brainer. But if you do have something a bit more recent, is it worth spending that thousand dollars? Probably not. You probably won't see a massive spike in performance, but you will see all the features that it currently has, which is a good thing. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. You have, you've heard me ramble enough. I'm singing its praises. I really enjoyed this phone. I think it's a great phone, and it is going to be the Android device that I keep on me at all times. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe and make sure you enter into the giveaway. Links down below in the description. Until next one, guys, it's your average consumer. Peace.